Hello there guys and girls, this is Pixel. Now, as we know recently, the announcement that Crates will be leaving the game forever as we know it later this year came a couple of days ago. And that inspired a video idea of mine called the Rocket League Bucket List. Now, I need your input for this because obviously I recently did a video trying to get dueling dragons from a crate because it's one of the things that I've uh, never done. And that, of course, is on the Rocket League Bucket List. And I've written a list and there's seven items on there at the moment, a lot of which I've already done. I asked some of you guys on Twitter what were some things you wish you'd done in crates whether you've done it before or some things you've done that you think are like epic and uh, basically a lot of you just said you know white painted exotics usually zombies dracos black markets not getting rares all that stuff so let me know down in the comments if there's something maybe obscure in rocket league in crate openings that maybe we could add to the bucket list for uh the next few months before the crates get retired that we could try and complete in videos now for this video i'm going to tell you what's on the bucket list and show you the clips of me completing the items that i've completed on the bucket list and then we're going to attempt Another one of the items that we are yet to do. As always, please smash a like. I know a lot of you watch the videos, you forget to like the video. Please like the video, but let's kick it off. I've got the bucket list here on my phone. The first item on the list, of course, white zombies in a crate. And that did happen this year, so take a look. First exotic of the video in a crate. It's the C4 crate, but it's not a zomba. Um... The next item on the list is back-to-back -back black markets, and I've kind of done this a couple of times. There was one time I was doing a PC versus PS4 crate wars. I got the black market on one platform, then the next crate I got on the other platform. So, kind of back-to-back, -back, but not really. But here is the moment where I actually did get back-to-back -back black markets live on stream. Nearly at 100,000. That is insane. Did anyone tweet me? Let's have a look. Got a load of notifications. Uh, I'll scroll down to see who the first person was to see if they managed it. Okay, right. Oh my gosh, I got so many. I'm gonna have to go all the way down to see who did it first. Um, oh my gosh! I was looking at my computer screen! I was looking at my computer screen! What's just happened? Guys, I missed it! I missed it totally! What's just happened there? Oh my days! I just looked and I saw Hexed pop up! <laughs> what is going on? What is going on? Black market. Oh my hexed. We got a hexed in a PCC crate. The, that's insane. We just got a donation. Cats are good. Hashtag hexed. Let's go. Hashtag luckiest crate opener ever. Thank you for the donation. Oh my. <laughs> I kind of wish I saw it spin and hit the mystery. Because I was looking at my PC and I just, I, I looked at the screen. I looked back and it just said hexed. Oh my gosh. What's going on? Oh my gosh! What is this? Back to back hexed! Back to back hexed! Back to back hexed! Guys! Guys! Has this ever been done? Has this ever been done? What's just happened? I'm getting my GoPro out right now. I'm recording this. What's just happened? What's just happened? Back to back hexed! Oh my, oh my, I'm, I'm, oh my gosh. I'm getting this light on, okay. Okay, right. So, I'm recording on the GoPro right now, right? Look at this chat. Look at this chat. I've just, I've just achieved the impossible. I've just, I, I, I just got back to back hexed in a five PCC crate opening. The subscriber count is going mental. Oh my gosh, 89,051. So getting back to back black markets is pretty insane, but how about painted black markets? Have I ever got a white painted black market? And the answer, of course, is yes. Take a look. Like some tier one exotics, like the Zomba Draco equivalent for this crate. This would be the best crate. Yes! Yes! The best crate! Yes! I have no idea what color that is. I actually can't tell. Let's check it out. Painted shatters lit shattered, ladies and gentlemen. The best crate, as I said. What is it? What is it? Ah! Oh! Titanium white shattered! Oh my gosh! Now realistically, there's not much more you can do than a white black market. But oh wait! Certifications. You can get a white striker black market. And that is the next item on the list. And they are exceptionally rare. Have I ever done that, you ask? See for yourself. Oh! Oh! Painted certified solar flare! What color is it? 
Oh my goodness. Let's have it. Let's let's equip this. Let's have a little look. Wait, that wasn't. Surely not. Oh! 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 <laughs> No way! The best solar flare in the game! White striker solar flare! I've never had a white striker black market. You might be thinking to yourself, what kind of bucket list is this if you've done everything on the list? But that's the point. I always try and complete the crates before I sort of move on from it. So I've done a lot of the really tough things on there. I'll speak to you a little bit later about what's at the bottom of the list. The next one I did very, very recently. It's actually getting every black market decal in a crate in one crate opening. And I did do that in my no reaction crate opening. So uh, take a quick little look at this. The next one I put on the list, and I wasn't actually sure if I had already done it, and then I looked through my crate opening playlist, and I realized that about a year ago, I had completed this one as well, and that is back-to-back -back of the exact same painted exotic in a crate, and uh, the reaction really, it really warrants this reaction. It's hilarious. Let's do this. Oh! 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 Are they black? Are they black Santa Fe's? Oh my! They look clean. They look really nice. What? Let's go. Dude, I can be hyped for you here. I know, right? Because it, it still means That's you could sick. get the... um. I have two pairs now. Nice. Hey, dude. That's really That's cool, sick. actually. That's really that cool. Because cool. they look so different to the original, you know? Yeah, literally. I like that. That's what makes a good painted nice. exotic, in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. Wow. All right. What? <gasps> What? No, no, what? No, 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 <laughs> no way, dude. Yeah. What? No. What? I can't believe it. Honestly. What? There's no way. There's no way. There's no way. Wait, 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 wait. Oh my goodness. What? I wasn't even really paying attention because I was like, you know, the next one's not going to be good. <gasps> <laughs> what have I just witnessed? Oh my god. <laughs> Guys, back to back painted black and then. <laughs> the shock. <laughs> what are the odds? I, ca I can't hear you, dude. I really. I've never. Honest, <laughs> what the hell? What? What are the odds just of getting happened. the same exotic back to back and one of the big striker in two crates? I've, I've never seen the same exotic back to back. Oh, dude. And then one <laughs> And the final item and only one on this list that I haven't completed is the most valuable non-painted black market in the game, which is, of course, Dueling Dragons. It's one of the best looking ones. But the thing is, the reason it's so rare, I guess you could say, and the reason it's so expensive is because Dueling Dragons has only ever existed, and unless they update the player's choice crate, which I doubt they will, will only have ever existed in one crate. The Velocity Crate. That crate came out a while ago. No one's opening them anymore, so the Dueling Dragon supply isn't really going up. Well, today, we've completed those first six items. Currently, the only item left on the bucket list is to get the most valuable black market in the game, excluding paint. Now, if there's any other obscure things, it doesn't necessarily have to be value-based, but if there's any other things you think we could add to the bucket list, please let me know down in the comments. So today in this video, I've got 50 more Velocity Crates to continue the bucket list series to try and get the elusive Dueling Dragons, which, as I said, is only present in this crate. Before I get into it, I just want to give a shout out to the sponsor of this video. Videos like this would not be possible uh, without the help of them. And if you want to go buy some crates and keys while you can, go over there and do that and use discount code PIXEL. Also, I do want to insert a little clip here. The winner of the month July giveaway from the Twitter platform, at least, has finally uh, claimed his prize. I'll play the clip now and show you what he won. So yeah, keep subscribed to the channel. Uh, there's going to be big giveaways coming up soon. We're getting close to 350,000 subscribers, which is epic. Let's play the intro, then we're going to get through and smash these crates and try and complete the current bucket list for Rocket League crate openings 
2016 to 2019. You guys need to go and check out the sponsors of this video, Logger.com. They sell gift cards for cheaper than they actually are. If you use my discount code Pixel at checkout for 6% off, say you want a $50 gift card, go to the checkout, use my code, and you can get it for cheaper than $50. If you want to buy V-Bucks on Fortnite, keys on Rocket League, or much more, then you can go and do that using the link in the description. Logger is not affiliated with any game that I'm playing or showing on the channel, but they're really supporting me, and I hope you go show them some love. So, with that being said, enjoy the rest of the video. I just know someone's going to put in the comments, getting Crimson Lobos in a crate. I might do a video just opening C2 crates to <laughs> try and get the Crimson Lobos, which if you don't know what that is, that is a meme that came uh, on this channel over two years ago. And, uh, you know, there was the joke of it being the most valuable exotic in the game. So, um... Maybe we'll do that. But yeah, as you saw, we've had some pretty spectacular crate moments. A lot of the really insane ones really recently. You know, we had the White Shattered, the White Striker Solar Flare. Absolute insanity. But now, yeah, just this this one challenge has... I, I, I tried to do it, and it's the only one I ever really gave up on in Rocket League. Because I, I thought to myself, I've opened so many Velocity crates, and I just haven't got Dueling Dragons. I moved on when a new crate came out, and I never looked back until recently when I realized crates are going to be gone. So for this bucket list to be complete, we have to get Dueling Dragons. And the more videos I do trying to get it that we don't get it, the more crazy it's going to be when we get there. Because obviously I opened 50 in the previous video. We're opening another 50 now. So over that 100 crates, you'd expect to get one Black Market. But then when you get a Black Market, there's a 1 in 4 chance of it being the Dueling Dragons. So it's... It's kind of crazy. I'm scared. We could open hundreds of crates and we could never complete it and it will forever be this little blemish on my sort of Rocket League kind of career, which is scary. So uh, this is the plan. We're going to be trying to get Dueling Dragons. Oh, man. Because I, I know John, he um he had an insane crate. I believe he called Dueling Dragons and just picked it up. You know, when you get lucky on, I believe, update day or around update day and it just works for you. It happened with John. It's like when I uh, said I was going to get Fire Gold when the new crate came out and I got Fire Gold in the first crate. You know, sometimes if you're around for every update day, you will have an update day like that where it just works. And for John, it just so happened to be at this current time, excluding paint, the most valuable black market by quite a long way. There's Dissolver, which is on PC, sitting at around about 30, maybe 28 to 30 keys. Then Dueling Dragons is like 45. And then below Dissolver, it goes way down again. There's not really many mad valuable black markets. I mean, Heatwave, when it first came out, it was one of the big ones. That was like 30 keys. Dueling Dragons, still, after all this time, I suppose because it's only been in one crate and it's therefore still very rare, is nearly 50 keys. And maybe... I was going to say it could go up to 50 keys plus when uh, crates go out the game. But when crates go out the game, keys go out the game. So I don't know how it's going to work. I don't know how trading's going to work. Uh, we, we don't know anything more about that, by the way. I'm sure. I feel like we're going to have to learn something about the new, um, the new like, crate update and the new system when Rocket Pass 4 slash Season 12 rolls around. And realistically, what it's going to be, the, the whole crate leaving Rocket League thing will either happen, in my opinion, at the end of October, around some kind of Halloween event, or at the end of November, beginning of December, when maybe Season 12 ends and Season 13 begins, or when Rocket Pass 4 ends and there's that break and Rocket Pass 5 begins. I feel like it's going to happen then, because this is like a big major update at the end of August. I feel like maybe the crate update will happen... In the next major update, which is scary, but we got a few months. A lot of people are saying, hey, you should totally like pre record a load of crate opening videos and then upload them staggered to like keep keep that alive, like to keep crate opening videos on YouTube. Imagine, imagine one day I just, <laughs> I just thought of a great idea. What I could do, I could, um, Record myself opening one crate, render it, and uh, and uh, and, and that would be that. And then I, I do that like 200 times and, uh, <laughs> This would be so funny. Oh my gosh, what a hilarious that would be so funny. Oh my goodness. I could I could record myself opening individual crates and then oh exotic. I'm here for it. Okay, Hikari. Uh so say I say I, I do 365 individual crates, render 365 10 second videos, right? Upload them all, okay? And then as the day that crates are out the game, I do 365 <laughs> 365 days of crates where each day I upload. Oh my gosh, that'd be so funny. That would be so funny. I'm almost tempted to do that. It's ridiculous. I still have my regular uploads. I wouldn't just become like a 10 second video a day channel. But like, or maybe maybe I could put that on Instagram like or, or Twitter or something. I could do 365 days of crates, one crate from each day. So that way when crates are long gone for, the, for, the, for a year after. Oh, please. No! 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 Oh, I was afraid.
afraid of that. <laughs> oh, I was looking at the ball ready to go into the goal and it was a polypop. Oh my goodness. 80 crates in and we got, oh, we got the wrong one. We got the wrong one. <laughs> oh, that hurts. Oh, it's so tough. Going for a specific black market is tough. Because we got the black market we needed, but we got a polypop. Oh my goodness. And also, it'd be hilarious because 365 crates you open, you're going to get a couple of black markets. So there'll just be a couple of days throughout the year where the video absolutely bangs because it's just a black market. It could be like a running meme. And as the year gets on, everyone's really hyped for the finale. I, I don't know. That, that could be kind of cool. Let me know down in the comments genuinely what you think of like a little <laughs> 360... <laughs> 365 days of crate opening. I got thrown off by that black market. I was so excited and I just, I didn't think, I, I had a feeling it wouldn't be Jewel and Dragons. You get a one in four chance. <sighs> oh man, that means we're going to have to get, we're probably going to have to keep this going. We got the black market, but was it the right one? Oh man, no. <laughs> Either way, oh man, I'm, I'm happy with the polypop, like, of course, but when the whole premise is you got to get dueling dragons, it's you finally see the black market and it's not the right one and it's just it's just sad. But yeah, there's so, there's so much we can do and I think a lot of people are saying like they're excited for what, in a way, excited for what they replace it with because it's going to be new and exciting and also what content that can lead for us to make as content creators, myself, John Sandman, that we're the two main sort of creators that are kind of like in the sport into the spotlight because of this update that I suppose I guess you could say it affects the most but yeah I'm excited to see what content it, it spurs me to make and how how the game works what direction it goes in and hey we might have we might end up with an item shop like Fortnite we might get codes in um in Rocket League like you you have a Fortnite code although I did actually change my creator code in Fortnite recently I haven't told anyone oh please please no no no! <laughs> oh my gosh. I've had two black markets and it's been these two. Imagine I get a party time. Oh my gosh. Oh no! <laughs> Oh, please, please like the video. Please, if you enjoy it, if you feel my pain. This is why it's so hard to get Jewel and Dragons. I've got two black markets, so essentially I get a one in two chance to get it, and I, I lost the 50-50. Oh, my goodness. Sub-Zero, man. Oh, no. <laughs> We're going to get party time next episode, and, and Jewel and Dragons will be the only one we don't get. That's what's going to happen, so... Oh my goodness, can you believe it? Two black markets in a 50 crate opening as well, that's insane. It's just the wrong ones. It is just the wrong ones. Jeweling Dragons, please. Psionics, please. Oh no. I can't believe it. We got some painted Yuzo wheels. But yeah, as I was saying before I got the black market, I changed my code in Fortnite, my creator code. Instead of YT dash pick a pixel, that was a bit long. Um, it's Pixel Army. Pixel was taken, which is frustrating, but Pixel Army, no spaces in Fortnite if you want to go and do that. We're finishing with an exotic immune equalizer. Hey! What a crate opening, by the way. Forest Green. We got painted forest green equalizers. If we go to most recent. We got Painted Forest Green Equalizers, Sub-Zero, Polypop, Sick, <laughs> but we still haven't completed the bucket list. Oh my goodness. I can't believe we got two black markets and we, 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 that's not what we need. That's just not what you're looking for. But either way, that is going to do it for this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. Subscribe today to join the Pixel Army. We'll still be trying to complete this bucket list. That Dueling Dragons will be ours. I've been Pixel. You've been awesome and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Flying in a missile, haters throwing shade, never pick me, not an issue. I am a beast, I'm at the top, I run these beats, I hold my spot, so stop before it hits you. It's Becca, Pixel.